next. Uh, Anthony Barnett is the founder of Open Democracy. His website focuses on current affairs, and he joins us uh, from Oxford. Um, Anthony, thanks for coming on the show. Now, let's start off with uh, what this all means. The United Kingdom has now been in two full years of turmoil. Uh, the question is, is there anything that can be done to ease this exit from Europe? And is an election the only option? Well, the Prime Minister, it's a really extraordinary situation, and I don't think anybody really knows what is happening. It's to say it's unprecedented. I mean, the word unprecedented has itself become a bit of a cliche. Uh, the, the Prime Minister is now in an impossible position because he's, it's a minority government. Uh, he's put his flag to this policy of uh, uh, going, trying to get out of the European Union, he says, with a deal. And what's really important about this is that the Conservative MPs and now even his brother, who want a deal, have tested his strategy and they've said to him, OK, what is the new deal you're coming up with? And the Europeans have said he's come up with nothing. And he's been asked repeatedly, clearly in private meetings with these other very senior Tories and, and with his brother to say, well, where's the beef? Right? What is it? Where is, the, where is the evidence that your strategy is aimed at getting at the deal? Um, and uh, there seems to be nothing there. And this is quite extraordinary. And if he's trying to go for a no deal, um, as I think I said on your, uh, an earlier program on, on TWT, uh, we'll be in a near civil war situation, even if he were to win an election and then proceed to no deal. Because his whole emphasis is a kind of contradictory one of saying, I really want a deal, but I've got to be allowed the option of the threat of no deal. And everybody on the other side is saying, actually, you're going for no deal, and that's unacceptable. And if we end up there, even if he wins an election, um, there's going to be uh, <laughs> tremendous divisions uh, across the UK and a very high likelihood that Scotland... Uh, will go independent. And so in that sense, historically, it seems that we are looking at the end of Great Britain, of this imperial entity of the four, four countries with Northern Ireland, not a complete country, Wales, Scotland uh, and England in this, in this sort of imperial entity, which has always been uncomfortable uh, in the European Union. So uh, there, there's that. Now, on the other hand, the Europeans, the reports at the moment are saying they're really fed up with the United Kingdom. They don't want this breakdown inside them. And so they may well just say, look, Buster, we've had enough. Uh, mm. Whatever you may be saying, um, you know, if it's no deal, then that's the end of that. But you, you well, the, and the odd thing about when you ask about can you ease the way out is this. The thing is, Johnson is offering um, I mean, he's been accused with very good reason for lying the whole time, but he's offering the country something which is completely phony and untrue, which is that if you go for no deal, Brexit is done, the referendum is validated, and we can move on. But no deal Brexit is just begins Brexit all over again because mm -hmm. there isn't a deal. We'll be out, but we will have to have a relationship with the European Union. What relationship? They say they want a free trade relationship. That involves negotiation. So yeah, and this... a no deal throws us back. It doesn't facilitate, it doesn't ease the way out. The only way you can leave the, the European Union, um, which is 44% of our exports and is part of our continent and it's in our culture and it's in our science, and so on, is with an agreement. So yeah. if you go with no deal, you then have to start, start the whole process all over again. All right. All right. That's, it certainly sounds like a very vicious circle. Uh, very interesting analysis. Uh, Anthony Barnett, thank you very much for joining us here on the news.